everybody I want you to welcome to a new save game by the way this is your host Mr. Blue aka Tommy Miller folks welcome to Edgewater I can't say it last name well, we're starting out with eighteen thousand seven hundred and fifty four dollars with new farmer we're gonna be playing on hard uh, you see I done played on it for a little bit as just to get everything set up like I want to and of course some of uh, the mods gonna be out got a bad conflict I'm fixing to tell y'all about here in a minute um, but you know I still got a lot of mods to go as you can see while this is starting but this is a full name here Edgewater whatever that is I'm just gonna call it Edgewater and uh, yeah um, starting this map because I'm having problems with Silver Run Force um, I don't know it's a corrupt save game or what I got another one that I opened up. Everything seems to be doing good on it. But I've tried to back up a ways back with my backup save game to even April of this year. And I, I, I still, it's whatever it is, when I go put those files back into the main uh, game thing to, you know, to, to start from that save instead of where I'm at now. Uh, it's still at midnight it gets corrupted for some reason so i um, been removing mods I had uh, all right here we go we're fixing to start and as you can see is August I got it on two days save It's two o'clock in the evening we got on 0 0.5 uh, it's going to be raining soon. We're starting at $18,754, as you can see up there. And this is our farmhouse. We got a water hose reel, bicycle, um, our boots, watering can, place to sit. I guess we can yeah, pick all this stuff up. Probably returns. Now, this right here, this would be something my mom would love if she was still around. The old sink like this. Um, let's see if I got. Oh yeah. Whew, almost too big to do that. Trash cans and stuff around back. I don't know what that is. Maybe a water softener thing or something. But I would love to have a two-story house like this. If I did have one, uh, it'd be an eight by eight window pane up there. I mean, eight foot by eight foot basically all that right there would be a window but anyway that's our house this place is overgrown uh it's a buddy of mine he said he didn't want it no more and he wanted out so i bought it from him and it kind of bankrupt me but anyway yeah we got a lot of blue trailers sitting around here these are bale trailers and uh, this, this is this he let it get overrun it's a beautiful place but he did do me a, a, a huge favor I'm going out here at the driveway and <laughs> I guess it was worth the money well, the sign keeps on getting turned there we go we can see it a little bit better there welcome to Mr. Blue Farms I, I'm glad he done that yeah and go down here we need to replace a fence across here at one time. There's the other side, I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but it had a fence here. Yeah, see right here? It starts right here. Uh, we might have to tear this down and put a new one up. But it's got some crops on this map that I ain't done before. Welcome to Mr. Blue Farms. I just hope this map don't uh, become corrupt. But we own a, a pretty good piece of uh, land here. I don't see what the crop is here. Yep, right there. Uh, top one field info. We go down about halfway. It says crop type. It's F L A X. Flex. I've never heard that crop before. But it's on here. Um, we also got some soybeans too. This is our second drive. We can come in. We can go that way, or we can go this way. And there's. Thought I seen some more trailers here somewhere. 
Oh, it's around that way and then over another drive. Okay. Anyway, let's get in here and look at this. Some older equipment, folks. Open door, open door. We've got a, a case drill. Bunch of case tractors look like. Uh, Air National, what is that? 1586, 1586 four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive. Got a 9390 case, big old hoss with a, a fast uh, speed tiller, 465, it's fast tail, whatever. And we got a, a hardy sprayer over there, a case international planner. And let's go on over to our other shop. Uh, before we go in the shop, let's go around this way. I was looking around. We, we got a subsoil here. I don't know if we got anything to pull it. Besides that big boy. Got a New Holland small beller. And got a two row mower back here. Yeah. Big lot, big lot. We take down some of these trees, have a little bit more room. We got oh, like a capio, a uh, pretty new header here. And uh, we go in here, open this door so we can get some light up in here. We got a 8950 case four wheel drive, looks like a newer one. Uh, 1688 axle flow case international it's two wheel drive um, we got a Mac and then we got one of these uh, looks like maybe a 50 foot with double belly and then in here now I'm opening these up because we have to get some of this equipment out soon I don't know if it's going to be in this episode or not uh, probably I would like to do some mowing around the edges so the combine won't get all this junk in the header but yeah we got all that equipment we got a uh, convey all conveyor and then of course y'all seen this and lots of the other uh, youtubers channels and stuff we have three grain tanks here I don't know the probably a semi truck each um, yeah um, I noticed we don't have a auger wagon kind of wish we had an auger wagon but I do want to ours is ready to harvest but we also need to help the neighbors out so I figured we could do that and uh, I'll get Dan from 3D Outdoors or Christy Nicola uh, to do something. They can harvest our crops while we harvest the other people's crops. I want to go in here and show y'all. I know this is a boring point. Um, trying to figure out where. Um, ew, is that it? No, that's something else. I'm on the right one. Go down. All right, this right here. All this is uh, flax, and this is soybeans. Uh, we go down here, you'll see that soybeans fill seven. And we're going to have to go over one, and that's, that's grass, and then that's plaques there. Fill 50, 51, and one. And as you can see, we have this area that's ready to harvest. There's a bunch of other ones. 43 is ready to harvest. Fill two, 10. Go over. Oh, now we can see. Yeah, all of ours here is ready to harvest. We got, uh, what is that, 52, 29. I think this is a field that we want to do, field 8 for a neighbor. And there's a couple of fields that we can do. Uh, we still have some more equipment we need to get down. So uh, let's go down to, uh, we have no loan. We have no animals. Um, oh, get down here. Uh, year plays one, uh, time, you know, what is that, five minutes, I guess. 
Um, here we go. Uh, oh, my mouse ain't working. Uh, 15 minute intervals. Um, half the time of speed. Difficulties hard. Traffic's off. Uh, let's turn that back on for now. Uh, seasonal growth, yes. Uh, days per month is two days. Uh, visual month is fix is off. Snow zone. Crop destruction's on. Plowing, field stone, weeds, all that's on. Dirt is slow. Uh, automatic engine start. I think that is off. Stop and go braking's on. Trailer fuel limits off. Fuel usage is high. And all this other stuff is off for the hired worker. So let's go back up to here. Uh, we got some of them done became missing. Looked like uh, Covating was two or three. Um, field eight is canola, and it's um, looks like the cheapest for barn equipment. So I want to borrow those items. <laughs> And uh, remember to fill the tools if needed. Okay. And then um, there's a bunch of others. Maybe it wasn't no harvest missions or was it? 39 is peas. We'll get to these as we can. Uh, we have three Lyman contracts here. Two of them are good prices um five thousand two thousand two hundred and something dollars um i'm thinking if i go with this and borrow the items and then do field 32 and field six that will help us out a lot and we can get these done you know let's see field 32 let's go ahead and what I think that one came with a tractor or something. Let's go to her shop. Yeah, here we go. Now, only thing ours is that mower right back there. Let me get these hooked up and I'll be right back. All right, they're giving us a X9-1100 already, folks already given us one of course it's not ours it's uh, a little bit of lag there oh it's a help if I raise it up all right you saw that lock in place now I went ahead and done the uh, one of the lime contracts, I think it was the, uh, or oh, the, uh, yeah, 42,000 one, because it's a little bit cheaper for renting the materials. All right, good. All that's hooked up. But I'm going to go ahead. I don't know how much the uh, Regal, whatever it's called, to rent let's see it was lime wasn't it yeah lime okay um so we're just gonna go in here buy some lime let's see go to here four hundred and fifty dollars for uh, what a thousand liters I think two thousand liters okay we're gonna need quite a bit I guess we're gonna get eight at a time and it was uh, 3,600 times twice. And now we just got to fill all of this. But I ain't going to bore y'all with that. What I am going to bore y'all with is our... Back up in here. Come on. There it goes. This is our uh, pickup truck for the farm. This is one my friend had. He gave us some uh, a diesel can, a shovel, and a bucket. Along with a 330 lawnmower, we got a Honda push mower, and we got a weed eater. So I'm going to take this to the farm shop, and I'm going to call Dan, Christy, 
to come out and help and um i'll be back in a little bit so be right back well i figure i'll bring y'all back y'all need to see the countryside anyway just left the dealer and trying to find field eight as you can see it's flashing right up there um i guess probably could have went to that to get to it or there's a road up here to go to it looks like but I got follow me working it's one of the mods I'm on the key course play and auto drive uh, yeah this be a good map to learn course play and auto drive on because the auto drive you can do a lot with it like course play Yeah, see, this would be a way to get in our fields over there, but it looks like we can get to it from the road over. You see a blue triangle, a blue diamond between eight and three there. I'm trying to stay on the road. See, let's do 13. I know they can, or at least 16. And this is the, ooh, that's got a fence around it. Hopefully it doesn't won't. Uh, field 32 is when we got a lime. I think I might, I don't know, if I do the other lime contract, I might have to rent or buy. Oh, by the way, I had to turn the traffic off too. It was pretty bad there, dealership, getting all these out. Well, follow me works pretty good. I'd be doing our bailing and stuff. Uh, let's see, I gotta pay attention. The blue diamond, you can see coming up up there on the map, it shows blue diamond, but here, it is a place where you can get water. Go ahead and stop here and show y'all. I, I like, this this is original we have these around here uh, in Arkansas but usually in the farmyard but this got a meter I guess uh, the farmer gets charged by electricity water is free I guess all right uh, yeah I see the road right here where we can go in so I'm gonna probably stop about right here. Then I'm gonna stop this one first. Back up a little. I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna pull him over to this. Oh, oh crap. First crash counter. I need a crash counter like DJ Goham has. Oh, I am so sorry, folks. Hang on just a second. I forgot to turn the AC off. Let's see, stop engine. We don't need that for a while. Let me go ahead and get this truck to the shop, and we'll come back and get the combine. All right, I'll be back in a minute. I said that, but I forgot. I was going to show y'all the countryside. Shame on me. Uh, I don't want to turn that off. Yeah, here's our farm shop area. And we own this square here. Everything's golden at. Like I said, I'm just going to leave this truck parked out here. Because we need more front yard. I might have to get that mower down here. Anyway. Alright. Travel time. Oh. Go ahead and get another one loading. Don't need that. I need this. We're going to unfold the combine. Don't hit that. Oh, it went through the header. We're going to leave the header trailer on the side of the road. Hopefully nobody hits it. All right there. Unhook. Any other time we have somebody blocking the road for us. 
Oh, I got a telephone pole. Sure don't want to hit it. Alright, now do we need unfold? Not oh, much, the harvester. Okay, I guess the header's good. I don't know if we can lay straw down or not. If we can, that's going to be awesome. Um, I see. Where's that fence supposed to be? I know. Okay, it's just right there. All right. What are we even harvesting? That's canola. Yep. I don't know if I got that straw turned on or not. I think we do. Um, turn on the combine. Enable straw whelp. Yes. Um, yeah, we can get some straw off of here, I think. We're going to fill our trailers up anyway. Yeah, I know it's reserved for contract. We're on a contract. And we're just going to go straight. We're going to get what we can off of here. You know, to help us on sales. Uh, might get some cows. Stuff. Never know, you know. Get past this tree here. I'm going to hire a worker. Well, but, uh, let's see who pops up. I right, don't show. Uh, Christy Nicola. All right. <coughs> Have fun, Christy. We're going to pull this off the road here. I don't know how fast that canola is going to fill up. And we've already been going 23 minutes. Whew. Now this is probably be uh, not much editing to oh, not much editing to these. Um, I'm just going to go for about 30, 35, 40 minutes, and uh, go from there. Let's see, I think I'm going to push this right here she almost to the end I see I gotta shut this now she's almost there still got a long ways to go on this to fill it up but yeah um yeah I want to uh, unload this trailer or just unstrap it anyway. Um, I want to get this guy right here fired up. I'm going to go get our baler and a set of trailers. I think that we got them in twos. I like how he reaches for the gears each time. All right, got the baler hooked up. Now we gotta get. Um. Uh, okay. She did pretty good. Now to work. We'll catch her unloading on the other way. Yeah, I see two trailers over here that we can get. Well, there's some around this way, I think. Oh, look like we got four here. That'd be perfect. And I can't remember where a hook is. Oh, right on a chute there. Okay. Hope there ain't too much weight for it. Probably would be loaded. Quite a bit of waiting for their stretcher, though. All 
Alright. I'm coming that way. We should go out this way. Yeah, it's at the end of this field here. Okay. Oh, get on the road. I right, turn my flashers on. Alright, good. All the trailers got flashers. This is probably going to shoot them out pretty quick. I don't know if I need to let them just shoot out on the ground and we'll come along with another tractor to pick them up or really don't know. I'm just going to pull over right here and shut this off for a second. Get back in our a uh, X9 1100. All right. Just gonna let Chrissy out for a minute. We're gonna do some edges here. Probably should have stopped it just a little bit sooner so uh, all that wouldn't get into the header there. All right. Let's see if we can do this without hitting anything. Oh, kind of getting on it a little bit there. I'm we'll have to go back to the other view. But folks, if y'all know anything about uh, solid state drives, uh, what I want to do is get everything off my solid state drive because it's real small and uh, I want to get a bigger one and uh, I got a four terabyte hard drive that I want to put the uh, game on and it's not an SSD it's just a regular hard drive if that makes any sense all right we're gonna let Christy go back to work there we're gonna get started bailing some, but uh, I'm having troubles. Let's see, start the engine. Get this up to the back one right there. Eight unfold. We're gonna have Gretch Christie on the far end. So you turn Baylor on, let Baylor down. All right, folks. Of course, our tractor's gonna be in the way up there. Whoa. Okay, so it's gonna throw it that far. Let's do this, let's see, a second one. Operating position. I'm gonna turn all these to operating position. That and that and this bell's not supported. I have a feeling I'm going to have a very, very long time. Let's just get another one to shoot out. Now, I'm going to have to stack them by hand. Oh man, that's gonna be rough. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be rough. Can I lift them? Why super strength? Yeah, it's gonna be rough, but yeah. Alright, let's figure out where Chrissy's at. Perfect, glad you stopped that way. Oh, no bells, uh, strap, uh, no straps. Oh my. All right, we're gonna turn this off. Uh, 
Yeah, another one. Oh, why let her get out of? Uh, we're gonna have to do the ends. That's all it is to it. We're gonna do the ends ourselves because if I would have stopped her there, we would have had crop destruction, and I don't want to lose no no amount of money whatsoever. All right, yeah, let's get in this trailer here. We need to get our other trailer um, filled up with lime and take it over to our field and start that. But uh, we're already 32 minutes in, so folks, I'm going to have to change out those trailers. Oh boy. I guess I could sell one and buy one. Which I probably don't need auto load. I just have to load them by ma by hand manually. It's going to take some time, so it'll be something I do off screen. So uh, yeah. I don't like using these big trailers like this. I really prefer. Um, Is it six mile an hour? Yeah, it's six mile an hour. I prefer uh, auger wagons. That's what the United States use, which I've never seen anything like this out in the field. It's always had an auger on it. And a semi truck sitting out on the end, so. But folks, when we come back next time, I will be finishing up this. Uh, I'll be doing some of this off screen so it won't take so long. Uh, we got to raise our own money to help our own farm out by doing contracts to first off. So, yeah. Tell me what you think about it so far. I think it's going to be a great map. It's a huge map. A lot of potential. Oh, oh, which way are you going? Oh, you would go that way. And here I am trying to go through the fence. Okay, that, that might work out. Oh, yeah, that'll work out. Run the straw, don't, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. All right, folks. Uh, well, I might not get all the straw off this field, but I'll try to get a couple wagons full to help out and stuff. But I'll do that off stream, off off camera, not off stream. I'm not streaming, duh. I need to be. But uh, yeah, I've been having some mod conflicts and stuff with the game, and I've been having some health issues. Uh, by the time y'all see this I might already have a episode out stating what's wrong with me and stuff so this probably will be a batch of videos that I just record edit and let set for a little bit uh, I got three civil run force episodes that need to come out so y'all probably see them before this and and whatnot um, yeah so this is what our X9 looks like inside the cab, folks. This is what I want to get up to one day. Uh, probably about three or four of these running in the same field. That's my goal for this map. But anyway, y'all have a wonderful day, a great day, an awesome day. No matter where you at, drink you some water, stay positive, and I will see y'all in the next video. Mr. Wu, signing out.